Morning sirens alerted residents in Kaunapali on Saturday afternoon as a fast-moving brush fire forced evacuations. Our Casey Lynn was there as it all unfolded, and he joins us now live from Maui. Casey? Yeah. It was a very tense time for so many people, Grace. Again, I, I want to remind folks that this is uh, just about a mile and a half away from the Lahaina Civic Center, where thousands of people were trying to get what they need to kind of rebuild their lives, social security cards, driver's license, and a resource fair there. Uh, I'll talk more about the fire response in just a moment, but you mentioned the sirens, and we want to mention that. I heard those go off. They were sounded. Hyema says that that was at the request of Maui County. We are trying to learn more about uh, what's changing with sirens and if there's going to be some protocols in place for when they'll be used and when they won't. But those went off. They also sent out phone alerts uh, that evacuated residents, asking them to get out of the area. There's still, again, a lot to learn about why sirens weren't used in the Lahaina fire. But the folks I talked to out here Saturday said they were grateful they went off on Saturday in Kaanapali. The challenges of the Lahaina fire um, really, leave, really left our personnel in, in a way feeling incomplete that they didn't do their best to protect their town, which they absolutely did. But it's just one of those things that um, that is hard for us because we have an expectation that we fulfill our promise to the community on every call and we don't leave till it's done. So two of the firefighters that did make the stop and save these two homes here were two of the firefighters that did lose their homes uh, that evening in the Lahaina fire. And to just be able to come here and be able to still protect and serve our community to the best of our ability is very important to us and it, it meant a lot to us. And that was Kaulana Kino. Uh, he is the battalion chief that was in charge of that incident. I was able to go up and interview him, and he really said that this meant so much to those guys. As he mentioned, as you heard, some of them lost their home in the Lahaina fire. So getting this win was really important, and it was to give them a little bit of a morale boost. And that fire came within 15 to 20 feet of homes. You see their hel helicopter doing bucket drops. But he says the fight was really won on the ground, where a couple of his firefighters were able to tap into a hydrant there and protect those homes, spray those homes down with water and get water on the fire. They eventually got it contained. It was only seven acres, still waiting to hear the cause of that fire. But regardless, it is extremely dry out here. As we showed you earlier at 730, uh, not a lot of wind right now, but it is windy across Maui uh, off and on. So just be careful. The fire danger really, really uh, something that needs to be top of mind. A reminder that we're all also in talks with Haima as well as Major General Ken Hara about sirens. When should they be used? What is the protocol um, setting those parameters so folks know and expect them when they're needed? Again, most of the time they're used for tsunamis, but we're seeing now they may be starting to be used for other things as well, other emergencies. So we're going to keep on top of that story and we'll bring you the latest details as we get them. Great. So send things back over to you on Oahu. Yeah, heed the warnings. All right. Thank you, Casey. Also, in the meantime,